Hello, I'm Christy with Clients First Business Solutions, and today I'll walk through some great benefits and features which make Acumatica a really strong competitor in the ERP world. So Acumatica is a browser-based true cloud ERP that was designed for a web environment, which means that you can access the system from anywhere, anytime, on any device, including phones and tablets, as long as you have an internet connection. However, it can be deployed on an on-premise environment as well. And today I'll be using a Chrome browser to log in. And when I log in, the first screen that you see here is what we call a dashboard. And a dashboard is a great feature because they're completely user configurable and they provide real-time information related to your role in the company. Acumatica provides a number of dashboards right out of the box that you can utilize immediately or use as a baseline to design the layout to fit your business needs. This dashboard is also set as my home screen, which means that when I log into the system, my dashboard will be front and center for me to start my day. The dashboard that you see here is a customer view, which focuses on the customer aspects of the business. This view looks across multiple departments such as sales and shipments and accounts receivable. The current view is designed to provide data on all customers. However, you can view an individual customer at any time simply by using the search box right here. So currently you can see 22 late orders. If I were to look at one customer at a time, I know that now eight late orders out of the 22 are related to the customer I chose in this field. So their dashboard updates automatically and in real time. Now each one of these boxes are called tiles, which have data tables built into the background using a generic inquiry. And with that, I will click into Overdue AR. And this will take us directly to that generic inquiry, which is providing the summary information that you saw in the front screen. The generic inquiry is a reporting tool built directly into Acumatica, which allows you to create reports and quick filters. There are roughly 300 data tables built and they are stored in a SQL. However, SQL tables are normally stored outside of your system and you need a code to extract the data. But with Acumatica, there is no, rec no code required as they are built directly into the system, which makes this a pretty great benefit. So the information that you see here on our drill down that is all the summary that you saw on the tile now to do a quick field a quick filter sorry <laughs> all you have to do is to grab any one of these header columns drag it to right here let's just click this one and you have drop downs where you can put in parameters or filters and once you put that in it's going to automatically update your data on this screen and then you can save it here and it's going to populate a little area right here where you can actually have that every time that you log into this. Now this did open up a new window for us so I'm going to simply click out of the window and that's going to take us back to the screen that we were already on. Now as I mentioned dashboards are completely configurable and as long as you have permissions you will see a design option right here and if you click on the design option this is going to open up an edit screen during for this edit screen you can move any area anywhere you like by just dragging it and dropping it and now my chart is front and center instead of my pie you can change the colors by simply editing you can delete and remove certain tiles you can add new ones and Acumatica does support a number of different dashboard tiles charts and headers KPIs pivot tables and data tables now once you are done, simply select the X, click the design button, and it's going to take away that edit screen. Acumatica is known for their user-friendly approach, and the user interface is designed around the concept of workspaces, which are located here on the left. Acumatica is a role-based business management software, and what that means is the users will only have access to the fields, transactions, and the workspaces they need in order to perform their job, which is based on configurable permissions. So for example, someone with an accounting role may only have access to finance, payables, and receivables, and not necessarily the purchases or the inventory workspace. So each one of these workspaces group together different business process areas. So for example, the purchases workspace 
List items that are dedicated to purchasing information like entering new purchase orders, creating new vendor, and running a number of different reports. These workspaces are designed to help each user be more efficient in their daily activities. And as a quick mention, to highlight the user friendliness of the system, you do have the ability to update these menu titles to fit your business terminology as needed. And this is also something worth mentioning. That is the favorites workspace here. So let's just say that your user has a number of functions they use on a day-to-day -day basis. And some of those functions are across multiple workspaces. So as long as they have access to the workspace, they can add that menu item to their favorites. And you can add as many, many menu items as you want by simply selecting the star icon next to the menu item. And this feature is great and it allows users to easily navigate their day. So my example that I gave you earlier was a finance role. They have access to finance, receivables, payables. Let's just say they have access to sales orders and even purchasing. So let's just click onto the sales orders. So as you can see, I have no sales order information here. If I were to click onto the star next to this, any menu item, it's going to immediately populate onto my favorites. It even tells you what module or workspace that this came from. So it comes in quite handy when you have multiple areas that you are trying to manage. But however, with that said, you can use a really great feature which is probably the most widely used portion of the system. And that is what we call a global or universal search which is located right here on the top left next to what is normally your company logo. You can type in anything that you would like to locate in the system and the search will provide all the items where that word is populated in some fashion. So for this example, I'm going to type in the word invoice. And as you notice, I have four different kind of categories where it found the word invoice. On the menu items, it tells you what workspace or module it's located in. Files, which have been stored or uploaded into the database themselves. Transactions and profiles. So if transactions have been uh, completed in this system with the word invoice, they're going to populate here. And even help topics, which allow you to learn more about a certain piece of what you actually populated. So I, I use invoice, and so perhaps I wanted to learn more about a performer invoice. When it is hyperlinked like this or blue, this is a hyperlink, I can qu quickly launch this by just clicking on this and this is going to give me more information or general information on performer invoices. And if I didn't mention this before, if you click on your company logo, this is going to take you right back to your home screen. The next feature I want to discuss is what we call attributes. Attributes are used to provide an added classification to a specific object, such as specific property to a stock item or even specific information of customer, and it's based on classes. So I'll give you a quick example, and I'm going to choose inventory, and I'm going to choose a stock item. And for this stock item, I would like to have an attribute that's going to really give me another category that's specific to the stock item itself. So I'm going to choose this front door and just say this front door, I do want this to always be blue. So for that, we're going to use the attribute section and where the attribute is going to be called color. And then I can choose a value of what color this particular stock item will actually be. Just kind of just gives you an idea of another level that you can use as properties for a specific item. So now that I've gone through some basic but very cool features of the system, I would like to introduce another great feature which is the Outlook add-in. The Outlook add-in is a tool that allows you to push data from your Outlook box to Acumatica in real time. So I'm going to quickly pull over my Outlook inbox. And so from here you can see that I have the Acumatica add-in on my Outlook. I'm going to highlight an email and I'm going to select Acumatica. Now, this information tells me that the contact that is listed here with this email address is already recognized into Acumatica as a contact. It provides you an information box here with their position 
and their account or the customer that they work for and gives you additional items that you can go ahead and do related to the email address populated here. But for this example, I'm going to select someone that I know is not in the system. Since I was given this email, I'm going to click I came out after I highlight it. And since that information box did not populate, I know that this person is not recognized in the system. From here, you can create contact, which is what we want to do. Create their position, select the account or the customer that they work for, and then simply say collect create contact. Now since this push data immediately into Acumatica, the information box populated here. I can now select different activities that I want to do for this contact. You can log an activity, you can view the account. Right now we're going to go ahead and view the contact which is going to open up Acumatica session for me. And now I can see that Christy has been added as a contact into Acumatica with the information that we provided. Now as a backup, I do want to add my email to this so that everyone knows why I created Christy as the VP of Marketing. So from my email, I am going to use the drag and drop feature. So I'm going to grab my email. I'm going to simply drop it anywhere onto the screen. Now what they did is it actually created a file that is directly linked to this contact. So this concludes my demonstration of navigation and the user interface and even giving you some really quick highlighted features that make Acumatica really great.